Alright, so this video is brought to you by these mixtapes. You should probably go buy them right now. Hi, I'm Cam, and this is the best video I've ever made. Alright, so the first word is metaphor. A metaphor is comparing something without using like or as. A good example of a, of a metaphor is your mom is uglier than a witch. See, I'm comparing your mom to a witch without using like or as. Right, fam, so the second word is hyperbole. Alright, so the hyperbole is, uh, it's like the Super Bowl, but it's hyper. So a uh, hyperbole is actually an exaggeration, pretty much. Alright, so an example of a hyperbole is, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. But that's, that's not true. N no one could eat a whole horse. It's not possible. Okay, so the third word is, uh, I'm a guri. So basically what imagery is is that an image gets stuck in your head and it becomes a brain tumor so you need a prank call uh 911 to get it taken out Ferndale Pizza Lesson speaking with the security out of delivery. Oh my god, come on! Ah! But what imagery really is, is it's basically descriptive and figurative language. Commercial break! Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, feels so good. Oh, it's time to get a tub. Ah. Ooh, that was a good bath. Now it's time to dry off. I gotta brush my teeth. Wait, wait, no, 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 no! Don't come in! Uh, well, you're already seeing it. It's so big. I know. It's a big package. I, I, I want that in my mouth. Not anymore! Okay, so the next word is irony. And there's three kinds of it. Yeah. Alright, so the first kind of irony is dramatic irony. So what dramatic irony is, it's basically when the audience knows something that a character doesn't know. Okay, so the next uh, kind of irony is situational irony. Okay, so what si situational irony is, is it's when something does something that you didn't expect to happen, but it happened anyways. So yeah. Right, so the next type of irony is verbal irony. Verbal means, it means talking. And what verbal irony is, and it's, it's pretty much sarcasm. Yeah, it's, it's sarcasm. Alright gamers, so the next word is on, 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 a a play, a play, a play. How the fuck do you say this word? Sorry, gamers, for that. I googled it, and apparently it is pronounced onomatopoeia. So that's the word number five, onomatopoeia. Okay, so basically what onomatopoeia is, is it sounds written on pa paper, so uh, deaf people can uh, hear sounds in their head. A good example of an onomatopoeia is oink, which is the sound your mom makes.
Alright, so the next word is personification. So what personification is, is it's giving human traits to something that is not human. A good example of personification is uh, the battery to my phone died. And batteries can't die because they're not living and they can't breathe. But make sure to press F to pay respects for uh, my dead battery. Hey, y'all, I think it's commercial break time! You need to buy it right now. Go do it. Buy now! So what repetition is, is pretty much repeating the same word over and over again. So the perfect example of repetition is... Alright, so what a simile is, and it's basically a metaphor, but you use like or as. I don't know why every time I say as, it sounds like ass, but it's good. We're just going to roll with it. Uh, I'm keeping this part. I don't feel like redoing it. An example of a sim of a simile is you are as ugly as your mom who looks like a witch oh ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay so basically what satire is is it's making fun of something like doing something that they would do but like do it like honestly it's kind of hard to explain so ask someone who actually knows who is smarter than me and an example of satire is that one south park episode who was like everyone thought bush did 911 and the whole point of it was to show that conspiracy theorists are dumb, which they are. Hey yo, did someone say commercial break? Hey yo, you guys should probably follow my YouTube channel right now. <laughs> Alright, so what an understatement is, is it can mean two things. The first definition of it is, an understatement is a statement that is under something. But the real second one is, uh, is it's when something isn't emphasized enough in like a sentence. And you just brush it off as something. But in reality, it's more important. An example of an understatement is this video is good. Because this video isn't just good. It's amazing. It is the best video ever made by any person on this earth. And that's a fact. Alright, so basically what alliteration is, is it's when uh, some, some words start with the same sound. Yeah. So an example of an alliteration is Adam's anus awesomely abandoned an apple. I did not say that right. I should probably redo that take, but no, we're going to keep it going.
Okay, so what symbolism is, and it's basically when an object in a book or a movie or something means more than what it means more than what it is. It is significant in the story. So, an example of of symbolism in this video is. Okay, so what an illusion is, is this basically, uh, in, a, in like a book or something, or like a movie or something, it's a reference to uh, something that's well known, or something that's like big, like famous. So an example of an illusion is Donald Trump. He's pretty famous, right? He's kind of famous for being stupid. And the whole wall thing. That was pretty dumb. Okay, so what an oxymoron is, is it's pretty much just a contradictory statement. So, an example of an oxymoron is a retarded genius. You can't be retarded and a genius at the same time. It just doesn't work like that. Just like how uh, something else doesn't work. Oh yeah, illegal immigrants don't work. Well, they do, they just can't legally. What mood is, is the feeling you get when you watch slash read something. So an example of mood is, uh, the mood of Incognito Mode by Camoni is, is suicide. Yeah, you feel like killing yourself when you listen to it. But speaking of Incognito Mode by Camoni... I'm going to attempt my longest buy incognito mode ever. Alright, here goes. Buy incognito mode! Alright everyone, so tone rhymes with bone, and that's pretty much it. NEXT! Okay, so what a paradox is, is it's something that contradicts itself so it can't be possible. And an example of a paradox is this sentence is a lie because if it really was a lie, then it'd be this sentence is, is a truth. And, and if it's telling the truth, then it's a lie. And if it's a lie, it's a truth. If it's a truth, it's a lie. And it's a lie, it's a truth. And then your brain explodes because it doesn't make sense. So, a parody is, is like taking something like a book or a movie or something and putting your, like, your spin on it and, like, changing it to be more funny or something. So, instead of telling y'all a example, I may as well just show you a 
basically everyone knows what this is. It's a pretty big meme. And it's not even that this video needs more filler. It's probably already a half an hour. But it's just really funny. So watch this video. <laughs> Alright guys, <clears throat> I'm doing take on me now. Alright. I I really I really like this song, it sounds good. Mine in a way I don't know what to mine or mine this anyway In this Minecraft day so beautiful and further down What's that I found? Mine diamonds. Mine diamonds. I'll mine them. So far I've got time. So easy to mine. With my Minecraft pickaxe and shovels, hopefully they stay in my Minecraft chests. So I'm gonna make a lock on it. Mine diamonds! Mine diamonds! I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> All these diamonds, sitting carefully away. I'm getting worried if they might get stole from my ender chest. Right, who is that? Holy sheep, it's Notch. Mine diamonds! Mine diamonds! Now the sheep! No! No! Thanks for listening guys and thanks for recommending this song. So as you see in the word cliche, there is like a little French accent thing. And I hate that. The French should stick, they, they should stay away from English people forever. Because I hate the little accent thing. That's stupid. So it, so it doesn't even get a proper, like, definition or anything. Next! <laughs> K.
Okay, so basically, what a setting is, it's when and where a story takes place. For example, the story, uh, the setting of the story of my life is in hell. So basically what a point of view is, is it's a whose perspective you're seeing the story from. Alright, so an example of that is incognito mode is from my point of view. It's from my perspective. You see things from the way I see it. Okay, uh... so what a plot is, it, it, it's basically the main events of a story. That's it. Like, no example needed. It's just that. NEXT! Alright, so what an idiom is, it's a saying which doesn't mean what it means literally. Like raining cats and dogs. Like, when it's raining hard, it doesn't literally rain cats and dogs. That's not possible. And if it did actually rain cats and dogs, you wouldn't say, Oh my god, it's raining cats and dogs. You would say, Holy crap, it's raining Chinese food. Alright, so basically what a narrator is, is it's the guy talking, like, explaining stuff. In, like, movies, like, it was at this moment that Cam knew he fudged up. Like that. That's a narrator. And the example for a narrator is me, right now. Narrating. I'll, I'm pretty much narrating a, a slideshow of just zero effort. Yeah. Alright, so what a theme is, and it's basically what a story is about. For example, the theme to the story of my life is cancer and autism and cringe. And also suicide as well. Don't forget the suicide. <laughs> Alright, so what foreshadowing is, it's basically something in a story that, like, hints at something that's gonna happen later in the book, or the movie, or the TV show, or the porno, or or whatever you're doing. Um, and the example for a foreshadow is, I'm going to scream into this mic... Soon. You don't know when soon, but but it's gonna be soon. <laughs> Alright, so the different t kinds of conflicts are... Man versus man, which is like fighting someone. There's man versus nature, um, which is like beating up a tree. No, punching a tree in a Minecraft, yeah. And there's man versus society, which is me saying um, racial slurs during a math class. And then there is man versus self, which is pretty much just what suicide is. Yeah, and...
And there's a uh, uh, woman versus woman, woman versus nature, wom- woman versus society, and woman versus self, which are basically all the all the same thing except vagina. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all have a good day.